Monty Python and the Holy Grail is a 1975 British comedy film written and performed by the comedy group of Monty Python, and directed by Gilliam and Jones. It was conceived during the hiatus between the third and fourth series of their popular BBC television program Monty Python's Flying Circus. The Man Who Would Be King is a 1975 film adapted from the Rudyard Kipling short story of the same title. It was adapted and directed by John Huston and starred Sean Connery, Michael Caine, Saeed Jaffrey, and Christopher Plummer as Kipling. Jaws is a 1975 American thriller film directed by Steven Spielberg and based on Peter Benchley's novel of the same name. The prototypical summer blockbuster, its release is regarded as a watershed moment in motion picture history. Young Frankenstein is a 1974 American comedy film directed by Mel Brooks and starring Gene Wilder as the title character, a descendant of the infamous Dr. Victor Frankenstein. The supporting cast includes Terry Geyer, Claw Urs Leachman, Marty Feldman, Peter Boyle, Madeline Kahn, Kenneth Mars, Richard Hyden and Gene Hackman. The Godfather Part II is a 1974 American epic crime film produced and directed by Francis Ford Coppola from a screenplay co-written with Mario Puzo, starring Al Pacino and Robert De Niro. Partially based on Puzo's 1969 novel The Godfather, the film is both sequel and prequel to The Godfather, presenting parallel dramas. One picks up the 1958 story of Michael Corleone, the new Don of the Corleone crime family, protecting the family business in the aftermath of an attempt on his life. The prequel covers the journey of his father, Vito Corleone, from his Sicilian childhood to the founding of his family enterprise in New York City. The Conversation is a 1974 American psychological thriller film written, produced and directed by Frances Ford Coppola and starring Gene Hackman with supporting roles by John Cazal. Alan Garfield, Cindy Williams, Frederick Forrest, Harrison Ford, Terry Gere and Robert Duvall. Chinatown is a 1974 American neo-noir mystery film, directed by Roman Polanski from a screenplay by Robert Town, starring Jack Nicholson and Faye Dunaway. The film was inspired by the California Water Wars, a series of disputes over Southern California water at the beginning of the 20th century by which Los Angeles interests secured water rights in the Owens Valley. Sleeper is a 1973 futuristic comic science fiction film, written by Woody Allen and Marshall Brickman, and directed by Allen. The plot involves the adventures of the owner of a health food store who is cryogenically frozen in 1973 and defrosted 200 years later in an ineptly led police state. Mean Streets is a 1973 crime film directed by Martin Scorsese and co-written by Scorsese and Marduk Martin. The film stars Harvey Keitel and Robert De Niro. It was released by Warner Brothers on October 2, 1973. The Exorcist is a 1973 American supernational horror film directed by William Friedkin, adapted by William Peter Blatty from his 1971 novel of the same name. The book inspired by the 1949 exorcism case of Roland Doe, deals with the demonic possession of a 12-year-old girl and her mother's desperate attempts to win back her child through an exorcism conducted by two priests. Enter the Dragon is a 1973 Hong Kong martial arts action film directed by Robert Klaus, starring Bruce Lee, John Saxon and Jim Kelly. This was Bruce Lee's final film appearance before his death on July 20, 1973. Don't Look Now is a 1973 independent British-Italian film directed by Nicholas Rugg. It is a thriller adapted from the short story by Daphne du Maurier. Julie Christie and Donald Sutherland star as a married couple who travel to Venice following the recent accidental death of their daughter, after the husband accepts a commission to restore a church. Badlands is a 1973 American crime film written and directed by Terence Malick, starring Martin Sheen and Sissy Spacek. War Notes and Ramon Beery are also featured. Malick has a small speaking part, although he does not receive an acting credit. American Graffiti is a 1973 American coming-of-age comedy drama film directed and co-written by George Lucas starring Richard Dreyfuss, Ron Howard, Paul Lamatt, Harrison Ford, Charles Martin Smith. Cindy Williams, Candy Clark, Mackenzie Phillips and Wolfman Jack, Suzanne Somers has a cameo as the blonde in the T-Bird. 
Last Tango in Paris is a 1972 Franco-Italian romantic erotic drama film directed by Bernardo Bertolucci which portrays a recent American widower who begins an anonymous sexual relationship with a young betrothed Parisian woman. The Godfather is a 1972 American crime film directed by Francis Ford Coppola and produced by Albert S. Ruddy from a screenplay by Mario Puzo and Coppola. Starring Marlon Brando and Al Pacino as the leaders of a fictional New York crime family. The story spends the years 1945-55, concentrating on the transformation of Michael Corleone from reluctant family outsider to ruthless mafia boss while chronicling the Corleones under the patriarch veto. Deliverance is a 1972 American dramatic thriller film produced and directed by John Borman, and starring John Voight, Burt Reynolds, Ned Beatty and Ronnie Cox, with the latter two making their feature film debuts. Cabaret is a 1972 musical film directed by Bob Foss and starring Liza Minnelli, Michael York and Joel Grey. The film is set in Berlin during the Weimar Republic in 1931, under the ominous presence of the growing Nazi party. McCabe Mrs. Miller is a 1971 American Western film starring Warren Beatty and Julie Christie, and directed by Robert Altman. The screenplay is based on Edmund Naughton's 1959 novel McCabe. Altman referred to it as an anti-Western film because the film ignores or subverts a number of Western conventions. The Last Picture Show is a 1971 American drama film directed by Peter Bogdanovich, adapted from a semi-autobiographical 1966 novel of the same name by Larry McMurdery. Set in a small town in North Texas from November 1951 to October 1952, it is about the coming of age of Sonny Crawford and his friend Wayne Jackson. The French Connection is a 1971 American dramatic thriller film directed by William Friedkin and produced by Philip D'Antoni. It stars Gene Hackman, Fernando Rey, and Roy Scheider. The film was adapted and fictionalized by Ernest Tidyman from the 1969 non-fiction book by Robin Moore. A Clockwork Orange is a 1971 dystopian crime film adapted, produced, and directed by Stanley Kubrick based on Anthony Burgess's 1962 novella A Clockwork Orange. It employs disturbing, violent images to comment on psychiatry, juvenile delinquency, youth gangs, and other social, political, and economic subjects in a dystopian near-future Britain. Patton is a 1970 American epic biographical war film about U.S. General George S. Patton during World War II. It stars George C. Scott, Carl Malden, Michael Bates and Carl Michael Vogler. It was directed by Franklin J. Mash is a 1970 American satirical black comedy film directed by Robert Altman and written by Ring Lardner, Jr., based on Richard Hooker's novel Mash, a novel about three army doctors. The picture is the only feature film in the MSH franchise and became one of the biggest films of the early 1970s for 20th Century Fox. Five Easy Pieces is a 1970 American drama film written by Carol Eastman and Bob Rafelson and directed by Ray Wilson. The film stars Jack Nicholson, with Karen Black, Susan Anspach, Ralph Waite, and Sally Struthers in supporting roles.